is big for us because we don't just need to sell hub drives, I mean mid drives, but we want to sell a hub motor we're proud of. And this hub motor is not only cool, it's low power. Like it's, you know, like completely street legal, it's lower wattage, and it's a technological marvel. And a lot of people say that, but this thing's really awesome. And, and uh, Ron Spinning Magnets wrote about this motor, but said he didn't like it because it didn't have enough power. It was only a 350 watt power motor. So we worked with the factory. We got it made for 48 and 52 volt windings. And we got a controller made that we're happy with. And we got this baby putting out a thousand watts. And this thing's amazing. Now, you know, a lot of our competitors, they're selling stuff with crappy connectors. And they still are selling with crappy connectors. And I think one of the ways we change the game is we make our stuff so plug and play. And we think this is important. I'm like, why the hell, like, I, are you selling this stuff with these crappy big old Chinese connectors? Just because you're selling Chinese stuff doesn't mean it has to be crappy, right? <laughs> but, you know, one thing we do is we make sure our controller doesn't look crazy big and like... Look, it fits it, in the palm of your hand. Look at this thing. And it has like connectors and hey, it's cool. But we go beyond that. Like, like we wanted something really Arrows cool. Arrows to make it easy to plug and play. We made a color display. A lot. Right, and here's your power. And here, lift up the motor. And here's the... Here's the um, speed. Oh, here, I gotta hit the throttle. And you know, what's great is we made all this. This is not a Bifang motor. Everybody's gonna say, oh, they're just bringing in a Bifang motor. This is not a Bifang motor. And here it is. And it's pretty awesome, right? Just a you know, standard geared hub motor, right? Standard geared hub motor? Wrong. Like this thing is awesome. Right now what this is, is it's got a pretty high reduction here. Like a uh, uh, much uh, um, higher than a regular motor. You know, I uh, give you a nice top speed. And the big problem with hub motors is they, they, they're great for going fast speeds, but they really bog down when you're going low speeds, right? Because, you know, hub motors love to spin fast. And if you want a, motor, a hub motor that can really climb wheels, hills, you've got to get it geared for it. So that's why low power hub motors really suck. And anything this small is going to be low power. Most production bikes are based on it and they suck. Like, I'm sorry, most production bikes suck. I've never ridden one of these things I like because you know, like, they don't have any hill climbing, they don't have any uh, off-road capability. This one has hill climbing power, okay? It has hill climbing power, but how does it do that? Well, if you can see on our little display here, this is not your regular setup, like, you, know, you guys are gonna trip, right? Look how beautiful that thing is. It's not just about beauty, baby. It's about, you know, how you dress. <laughs> <laughs> so here it is, you can see our Luna logo on it, no big deal. It's a completely new display and nobody's ever seen before. And here we go, we go to four, and here's your five levels of pedal assist that you're going to have. And then here's what's interesting. Go ahead and show the motor, see where she's going. And watch, I'm going to shift into low, bam. What happens is the motor reverses instantly and it changes into a double level of, of reduction, which is amazing. So now this motor is running at a much higher level of reduction, which makes it a low gear, like a really low gear, which will allow it to climb hills. So now you're talking, you can climb hills at like eight miles an hour in full power without sacrificing your top speed. There you go, a two speed hub motor that's small. And this is our answer to low power guys who want something that's legal. You know, you go, it'll go a nice 20, 25 miles per hour in it's regular gear, and then it'll shift down into the low gear. And you know what, nobody else is selling that in this country, right? Nobody else is selling it. Show me where you can buy this, right? And you know what? Nobody was selling it before us, and that's what we do, all right? We bring in we bring massive in stuff. Yeah, and this is just, okay, all made in China. I admit it, I don't hide where it's made. This pack is made here in the United States. This stuff was made in China, right? So, like, but I'm not saying our stuff's not made in China and putting a brand on it and not saying what, that this is a Bafang motor when it's not. But this has the Luna Cycles name on it. This motor was made for our specifications, right? It's different than just putting a name on something that everybody else already has and lying to them on what it's about. So that's a pretty cool piece of technology that you have. Two, it's a two speed, basically tiny geared hub motor that only weighs about seven pounds. And you know, we're about- I do bench press with this thing. We're about to put it on a bike right now. We got our team right now. We're gonna release a new trike tonight because we had this amazing trike and we've been wanting to release it so bad. 
but it's not really suited for a mid-drive because the mid-drive only pulls the rear wheel, rear wheel right? And there's two so, wheels back there. So we're like, um, so like I was thinking, well, none of our hub motors are really good for this trike because the guys who are buying trikes are kind of older. They don't want like a golden pie motor, yeah. where it's like, gigantic and heavy. I wanted a little tiny motor in there. But you put the little tiny motor in the trike and you don't have that low gearing and they're carrying their groceries and they can't get up a hill, it sucks. So what we wanted was a lightweight geared Hummer that would work with applications like that. And you know what, we, we did it. And I'm really proud of this kind of stuff. And it, you know, there, there's a lot of stuff that I'm proud of. And one thing I want to make clear to everybody, you know, I've been banned from Endosphere of Facebook and become like a, I was called a troll last night by that Sam, that Sam guy, a troll? I was called a troll too. You were called a troll? They called me troll name. Mike, listen, it's, 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 we are like, like, like finally, we're bringing stuff in that should have been brought in years ago. You know, that cool stuff, like cool displays, cool like connectors, you know, easy to connect up. You know, we can put this on cool bikes and offer bikes at an affordable price. And the, and the bottom line is we're doing it at a price point that, that's not ridiculous. I mean, most people, if they have a motor that nobody else has, this thing's gonna cost six, seven hundred bucks, right? That's not us. Like, we don't sell things that are overpriced just because we look at the price that we get them for because it's not our design. We didn't design it. We had it made to our specifications. We didn't design it. We brought a lot of ideas to the community with this one. We brought ideas, but we didn't design it. So it's not worth it to us. To, it, we don't really have to charge three times what it costs. Okay, everybody, that's like a rare insight with me and Ashley, my fiance, and my partner in this company. Hi. And um, I'm really sad that you were the victim of, of those sexist comments about your dressing, but I like the way you dress. That's all that matters. <laughs> uh, thank you, everybody. Um, this is Eric and Luna. Luna. Oh. Eric and Ashley from Luna Cycles, uh, <laughs> Partners in Crime.